Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Ryan here, and um, I haven't done a movie review in a while. I'm sorry, this is not live action, but I'm incredibly busy, incredibly busy today. So I saw Red Steel. Oh, I said Red Steel. What the freak? Okay, this is really bad dragging now. Um, I saw Real Steel um, last weekend on Sunday, October 16th. Um, I didn't see it the first weekend, um, but I did see it last weekend. Um, I actually really enjoyed the movie. Um, when I first heard about the movie, I didn't think it looked that great because like it looked really stupid, really really cheesy. It looked kind of stupid. But it's the director Sean Levy who um, made the Night at the Museum movies. Um, we'll see. He made Cheaper by the Dozen. I think he made Cheaper by the Dozen too. He made Date Night. So I really like. I don't really like Cheaper by the Dozen movies that much, but I really really like the Night at the Museum movies. I love the way he directs that movie, and um, for real, still he directed this movie very well. I think it's the best direction of so far. Like, just really good job. Um, like, like the thing I like about Sean Levy movies is that often the story isn't that good, like the greatest, but he makes the movies like fun, even if there's like a, like the story isn't the greatest. For example, Night at the Museum 2, like the story isn't that great, but he makes the movie fun. You know, he knows Sean Levy is one of those directors, in my opinion, that knows how to make a movie really fun. Um, let's see. Um, the acting was pretty good overall. Um, Hugh Jackman was great. I love Hugh Jackman. He's so awesome. Um, how long has this video been going on? It's been almost two minutes already. And you guys are probably not even watching this, so I don't even care. But okay, this is really bad. Okay, focus, Ryan. Let's do this. Hugh Jackman is really good in this movie. Um, I, I love Hugh Jackman. Australia, X Men movies. Australia is a very underrated movie with Nicole Kidman. Very good. Um, all these other movies he's been in, I can't wait for his other projects. He's a very good actor. Um, he portrayed like the character of like um, his son. Like he never spent time with his son, and um, he's trying to like get his um, get him back to love him back. And he he like did the, he played the character very well, very emotional, not emotional emotional, like Oscar worthy. But he did a really good job. I'm not really a big fan of the kid. Um. He was okay, not not because he was annoying, but he was he was still annoying. But I just felt that he didn't really um his like I didn't really like his like like the way he acted. It just it wasn't really convincing. Was, like during the dramatic scenes with his father, I just didn't buy it at all. Is that a nitpick? I don't think so. Sorry. Um, the woman, um, like the love interest, the Hugh Jackman. Um, she was she was in the show Lost. She's a great actress. But I'm not, she was okay in this movie. She didn't really have much of material. It was mostly Hugh Jackman. Uh, let's see who else. The acting. What else is good? Oh, special effects. Completely forgot about that. Um, the big thing about this movie is the special effects. The special effects are absolutely fantastic. Um, what, what I really, really like about this movie, like the most, is that the special effects. It looks real. Like not. It, it technically isn't real, but like. The way they have the humans and the robots like fighting in the same area, it's very realistic. It looks it works very well. I actually think it blends in more better than Transformers because Transformers, um, the random mind said this in his review, um, like in the Transformers movies, it looks sometimes a little fake, but actually in um in Real Steel, it looks a little more real. Like it kind of looks as if you're actually interacting with them. Even the Transformers special effects are amazing. Real Steel has a it looks more realistic, like when when you blend them together. Um, the special effects are absolutely fantastic, very well detailed. I love like how they move, like when, especially during the action sequences and like during the boxing. It looks absolutely spectacular. Um, the movie is also very well shot. Um, not any shaky cams. I think there was one part with some punching. Like I'm not gonna spoil it, but yeah, the um, cinematography is very good, very well shot, and you have to have. Um, very well shot kind of action movie because you can't do like um, Transformers 2 kind of camera. Yeah. Okay, this movie, this review is very bad, but I don't even care. I'm just rambling now. Um, but overall, I'm just gonna end this really quick. So, yeah, the music score was very good. Um, I thought the movie was, I thought the first half hour was very slow. I didn't really pick it up until the last hour or hour and a half. Like 30 minutes in was kind of slow, but eventually after that, after that, I picked it up. And I was getting more interested in the movie. I was like actually surprised. It was very enjoyable. I really liked it. Uh, great special effects. Very fun action family movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, nothing else to say. I like Sean Levy's direction. 
Um, very interesting. Uh, we also, also, oh yeah, I forgot the story is actually pretty good um, for what it is. Um, some parts don't, are kind of stupid, like the story that happens, but it's it's a family movie. You can't really like family action movie. You can't. It's not okay. Screw it. Um, See, so yeah, the story isn't that great, but it's still passable. But yeah, um, out of ten, um, I gave this rating a week ago. I'm gonna give it eight out of ten. Very, very solid eight. I actually like it more than Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, you guys are gonna kill me. Oh, oh my God. But whatever. I don't care. I'm entitled to my opinion. Um, so yeah, I actually really enjoyed this movie. A very, very solid action movie. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, I I, re I recommend it to um, like families, um, little kids. Teenagers might like it, but it's mostly for like um, seven to twelve, and the parents and adults. Because when I saw it, it was like really busy. It was a lot of little kids. So yeah, um, eight out of ten. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, there's nothing else to say. If you guys want to comment below, um, if there's anything you want you want to know how about the movie, how I thought of it, any more details, just ask me. Um, so yeah, um, Paranormal Activity three tomorrow. I can't wait. Um, I'm, I think I'm seeing it. I, I better see it. Well, I, I, I'm either gonna see it. I'm probably gonna see it tomorrow. If I don't see it this weekend, I'm probably gonna see it. I will see it next week on Saturday. But 75% chance I'm probably gonna do a review of Paranormal Activity three tomorrow or during the weekend because I'm, I'm very busy this weekend. So yeah, Paranormal Activity three tomorrow. Can't wait. Hopefully I see it. But if I do see it tomorrow. Um, probably not. I'm not probably not gonna post my review till Sunday or during the weekday, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So yeah, see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, even if no one's watching it. But if you are watching it, see you guys later. And this is a very long review, so yeah. Oh my god, seven minute review. This is terrible. I gotta go. Bye. This is dragging. See you guys later. Oh yeah. Okay, I need, I need a better. I need to have better endings. Alright, bye.